I guess my first intentions was that I was going to come down to Sydney and start throwing parties. I didn't have any expectations of managing bands. My name's Lewin Jacobs. I run a music company out of Sydney called Hand Games. I started it as a promotional company. And I guess being able to do it yourself means you can book all the music exactly how you like it and you have control over the posters um, and the press and where it shows up. So the party that I'm throwing tonight um, is with another guy called Jesse Willisey. We're taking over five levels of the King's Cross Hotel, so there's installations with things like models jumping out of coffins. Um, I was just wondering if I could grab the best coast flyers. All right, ciao. Yeah, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> so I've got the posters. Now I guess we're just gonna go to check out this house where we're throwing a house party at. Um, and we've just got a bit of time before sound check. How are you going? Hello. Okay. Well, do you usually put the bands in this room or the back room? Yeah. Can you kind of almost have a sound guy in here? I might even have like a Santa Claus sitting in the corner like giving out shots of Sailor Jerry. <laughs> 10 or 15 minutes. So if you guys have all your equipment outside the Jetstar Terminal, we could just come grab you from out the front. So Teenage Mothers are a band from Melbourne. I've heard some pretty gnarly accounts there. Pretty wild guys. According to all the doctrines of constitutional law, we can turn our utility bill into legal tender. Made in Bangladesh, this t shirt. So if you have it with chutney, it would be very tasty. I don't usually eat my band shirts with chutney, but you know, maybe it's time for that to change. That's a lift. Usually we get the DJs to bring their own needles. Does he have any? So one of the DJs that's playing tonight doesn't have headphones or needles and um, he's playing records. <laughs> I'm sure that he could go and organise it all but the record label or the manager always just likes to heckle the promoter a little bit and see if we can organise it first. Just gonna make some calls and see what I can do. Alrighty, I'll see you in a sec. After sound check, if there's an hour or two, I'm, I'm kind of just making a mental note in my head of all the things that I haven't done. And if I feel like I've done everything, I still just constantly feel like there's something I've forgotten. So it's that last hour when you worry if everything's going to fall apart. No man! Sweet! Hello, these are my friend. This is Todd from Brisbane. He does like some photography for the Cobra Snake. I guess there's like so much effort involved in putting on a night like this, but you know when you see so many people come and they get so excited about what you're doing, it, you know, it really pushes you to keep doing things like that because you can tell you have an audience that really get behind your vision. Yeah.